Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Mark Love. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, Baystar Sport. This is stock number 5N190537. It's the 2813 model, uh, which is the second shortest of the Baystar Sport. One of the reasons I picked this model today, uh, this is actually the shortest uh, and the lowest price unit that we've got on our lot in a new Numar product. A lot of people think of a entry-level gas coach as something that's maybe built rather cheaply and, and uh, you know, not very comfortable inside. Well, that's not the case whatsoever. I'm going to show you some of the things that make this product different than uh, competitors as we walk around. Um, first thing I want to do, I'm, I'm going to start right here as long as we're up front show you the engine compartment and one of the things about Numars I like to talk about is the firewall. Now over on this side we can't really see the whole firewall but you can see the insulation up there. Numar actually builds a thicker firewall in their coach. What that does is it helps deaden the road noise. It's going to keep you cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter and when you drive you'll notice it's noticeably quieter than other models. Up front we also have our house batteries right here, easy to access, our chassis battery over on the left. All of your oil and transmission fluid dipsticks and fills are right here easy to access up front. Uh, you can even see down here we've got our hydraulic pump for the slides. So they make things uh, readily uh, available easy to access. You can see we've got a couple coolers there. Uh, the radiator, one's going to be for the air conditioner. I believe the lower one is either an oil or transmission cooler. But one of the beauties of this coach is it's only 28 feet 10 inches long and it's built on the 20,500 pound chassis. Now they have three different chassis they'll build on, actually four. There's an 18,000 this one, the 20,500, a 22 and a 26,000 pound chassis. They're all powered by the Triton Ford V10. Uh, it's a 6.8 liter engine. This engine will uh, develop 320 horsepower and about 460 foot pounds of torque. Virtually every gas motor home, certainly in the last six, eight, 10 years have been built on this Ford chassis and they're all using the same engine. Uh, the nice thing about getting a shorter, lighter coach, you've got the same power plant with less weight. So if you're gonna pull your boat up Vail Pass, you actually will get up there a little quicker than if you have a, let's say a 37 foot Class A with three slides and you know uh, the Corian countertops, the heavier appliances in it. This is a really nice unit. Great for a, a family that, you know, maybe needs to sleep, four, five, six people, and they don't want to break the bank, but still be able to get away for weekends, maybe even take a two or three week trip back east uh, in the summer to see relatives. This is a great option. Very maneuverable. You can get it in virtually any campground. And uh, yeah, I just like the way they're built all the way around. As we walk around the side, a couple of things I'll point out. Like I say, this is an entry-level coach, but it is not typical low-end features. Three-way camera. You do have your side blinkers and your backup monitor, so whenever you put a blinker on, you can see what's down this side of the coach. Like all new Mars, a beautiful masterpiece uh, paint job. And the, the BASF paint, the clear coat they use, second to none. These don't fade. You can see we've got a nice awning out here. Sticks out about eight feet. Has some LED lights underneath. Just a great place to spend time. And uh, today in Colorado, we're gonna be hot. We're gonna be in the mid 90s. So you really learn to appreciate things like this. I'm gonna show you some of the compartments here. Now, unlike the diesels, where you have a lowered rail on a lot of them and pass through, you don't have that, but there's still, you know, some of these compartments, well, I guess this one goes through on the top most of the way. You can see you have plenty of storage. Uh, you know, inverter here. We've got a water tank behind this one right here, so you've got this panel. 
but right here is a low point drain for your water system. Every compartment does have a light that'll turn on. This is where we start getting into some of our bigger storage compartments. You do have a 110 outlet, a cable input, or TV, I guess that is for. So uh, if you want to watch TV out here and you have a portable, you can plug it in right there. Let me go ahead and shut these. I like the way they close, very solid, heavy doors. There is a 4,000 watt Onan generator. Since uh, a 28 foot coach generally only has one AC, this is enough power to, uh, to run your AC, your microwave, things like that. And then back here, another large compartment that kind of passes through up on top. Moving around the back, we have a 5,000 pound tow hitch, your seven way plug, all set up for towing your ATVs, boats. Uh, even if you want to put a little car behind here, your Jeep, uh, we're ready to do that. One thing a lot of coaches don't get is a ladder. So it's easy to get up on top. You know, you might want to carry a, a storage pod up there or just take your lawn chair up there and, and sit and watch the race or something like that. It is a full walk on roof. I'm gonna move around here and show you we've got our uh, 30 amp power cord here. You do have a, a, a transfer switch with a surge protector over here. That's not a standard option on a lot of coaches. I, uh, I talked on an earlier video about Numar's slogan, when you know the difference, and even at this level, they do things you're not going to find in a comparably priced coach with another manufacturer. Again, just another storage compartment, and you can see the light. Each one's going to have one. Over here, we have our hookups and our uh, uh, sewage clean out. Right there you can see your black tank. Over here is your drain. So your dump valves uh, on this one, oh right next to it. And you can see behind the dump valves you have your hot and uh, cold water drains, your low point drains. Numar provides a winterization uh, kit here. Very easy to flip that lever when it's time to uh, get the water out of it and put the antifreeze in it. You can see we have antifreeze in here right now. And then over in this compartment, you got a couple more chassis bat or house batteries, excuse me. These are on a nice pull out. And then in this final compartment here, we've got a very large propane tank. Another thing, as long as we're here, I'll, I'll point out one of the differences when you get a Numar. It's a true flush slide. Look how the, the fascia here tucks inside the sidewall. Most companies, that fascia is going to overhang. What that does is it gives you a lip, number one, where water can get in. When you're driving 60 miles an hour, it's like you know forcing that water in. And wind noise is as much of an issue as the engine noise in these. This will reduce the amount of noise you get from the wind while you're traveling. These all, uh, all have what we call frameless windows. And these are dual pane windows on this model. Now that is an option, but at least it's available on this option or on this model. If you, uh, you know, like to use it in the winter or colder temperatures, that's a nice thing to have. You also notice the slides have slide toppers on them. Now I wanted to show the outside with the slides in. We're going to move in, open them up, and, and I'll show you how they get so many 
nice features in a short 28 foot coach. When you think about it, a Winnebago Navion or the View, the Prism, the other Sprinter chassis, those are 25 feet, six inches long. This one's only about three feet longer. So as far as maneuverability goes, it's not that much different. You'll get it into tight spaces. When you drive in a downtown area, you don't have a 40 footer with that big swing out on the back. So uh, again, a short coach with a lot of great features. Why don't we move around and go inside? Step back this way for just a minute. One of the things uh, I'm going to do here, first off, I'm going to shut my door and I'm going to turn my generator on because, like I mentioned, it's hot and uh, I want to get some AC going here. Takes a minute to prime. Oops, shouldn't let go of that. There we go. You can barely hear that up here. Once again, uh, the way Numar build their products, they have a thicker sound wall, they have a thicker floor, a seven layer roof. It really does make a difference when you know, you're outside camping or you, know, you got your generator going, you can still have a normal conversation. Uh, as we walk through, we're gonna go back to the bedroom first. Let me get past you there if you don't mind. And I wanted to kind of show you, this is what it's like when you travel. And again, at 28 feet, there's not a lot of, you know, length to deal with there. Our ACs are kicking on. And again, look where these AC vents are, return air and your output. It's not spread out wide to where they're over the slide out. So if you're traveling in Texas in July and it's 110 degrees, it's very practical to run the generator, turn on your roof AC, and cool it down in the middle. And again, with the air conditioner going, with the generator going, you barely even hear it. So very quiet, well-built coach. Kind of want to show you the bed setup here. Now, how do you get a queen walk around bed in such a short coach? Well, this is what the setup is. And as I run this out, might as well get a little light on. You can see you have some nice storage as we go out over the bed platform. One thing about Numar slides, they might be slow, but they're the most dependable on the market. So good place down here for bedding or extra clothes, just whatever you want to bring with you. For 28 feet, there's a lot of storage in here. I'm going to show you some of that. So now I move my platform down, pull my mattress over. And as you can see, the bed didn't even get too messed up. Now, a couple of things I'll point out while we're right here. First of all, you have 110 plugs on both sides of the bed. A lot of people uh, have sleep machines, so it's very convenient. You also get this storage on both sides of the bed. And one of the options, it's also on this one, it comes standard with 1200 watt inverter but you have a second 1200 watt inverter dedicated to the bedroom. That is particularly important if you do have a CPAP machine or something at night. Also having those two extra house batteries, the six volt uh, golf cart style batteries, it gives you plenty of power to run your machines through the night without having to worry about running your batteries low. So let's uh, kind of swap places again and 
One thing I will point out is your TV here, which pulls out and pivots. And then here is the bathroom. Now this is one place that you do sacrifice a little bit of space being 28 feet. It's not a huge bathroom, but let's take a look at it. First of all, the shower, I like this kind of tub, and if you have small kids, it's very convenient because you can give them a bath. But you can see how much room I've got, you know, plenty of uh, space to get in here and comfortably take a shower. Also, here's a feature that you would generally think is only going to be on a high-end motorhome. This is an emergency exit. There is a ladder in the rear panel. And on this level, the Baystar Sport, it's an option. It's not a standard feature. But if you've got to bail out of here because of a fire, this is a great feature to have. And right now, I think Numar is the only one putting this door in. Go ahead and lock that up. You do have dual medicine cabinets here. See, there's a lot of room there, a lot of extra storage. I guess we can get some lights on here. We do have a ceiling fan for when you're showering. You can hear the generator a little bit more now because it's right below us. But it's still not that loud. Down here we've got nice storage. And again, being 28 foot, uh, a bigger model might hide the plumbing in the interior wall. You kind of see it here, but it still leaves you a lot of room for your toiletries and towels and other items. I'm going to step out here, point out your uh, closet. You've got room for wardrobe items up there, three nice pull-out drawers. This right here is for the uh, dinette. When you make it into a bed, it's your center cushion, so you've got a very comfortable sleeper. A little storage up here, and that's probably for your uh, DVD player. Sometimes you might put a satellite system in here, uh, which can be added. We have another fairly large uh, storage closet here. Uh, let me find my lights and get them on. Well, I'll open up that slide first. And then as you come forward, you can see the pantry. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and open up this uh, front slide. You do have uh, seat belts for six people in this unit. There's three on the couch, but I believe there's only one over here on the dinette. This is a jackknife couch. It just comes down flat. There really isn't quite enough room to uh, have a full pull-out hide-a-bed. One of the things about uh, these units, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to convert this to a sleeper. Now, before I do that, I will point out you've got some storage drawers, but also you can lift up this and you can see there's more storage to the back. So, you know, you've got more space than you might imagine. Once I have those up, there's a lever here and this simply goes down like that. Now these cushions I wouldn't use as the sleeper. You know a lot of companies do that. Numar provides you with that heavy-duty cushion. Uh, you might even want to put those across the back and sit there use it as a little day bed if, uh, if you're so inclined to. This also has your televator. And let me see, where's that button? Here we go. Oh, these are the lights. My televator must be on this side. 
There it is. And I can hear it. I've got it out of sync right now. So I apologize. Of course, it worked in the dress rehearsal. <laughs> We'll have to have that looked at. That does pop up right there. Once again, you've got, you know, sleeping for two here, two here, the uh, kitchen. You know, it's a kind of an L shape, but even at this level, they have soft closed drawers. That's something you might only find in a diesel motor home, you know, in another model. Another rare find is an actual oven. Most, uh, most coaches have gone to convection microwaves, but if you do like to bake, uh, you know, they've got it. And this is the propane cook surface. I still prefer propane because it's easier to control your heat compared to the induction. And of course, you have the uh, camp style refrigerator here, which gives you the propane or the 110 mode. You have an ice maker in this one. So on a coach like this, you might be dry camping, uh, not plugged in. You don't want to run your generator to run the AC. You've got the propane mode for that. Okay. One more thing I'm going to demonstrate is uh, this front end. Both these seats turn around, and I think I'll just do this passenger one right now. As this spins, and then you can move it forward and back, it becomes part of the living room, actually. And then another nice feature is this table. So you can see with, with the two uh, front seats spun around, you could have you know two to four people at the dinette, three more people at the couch. If it's raining and six or eight people get cooped up inside, you've got room for everybody to be comfortable. So just a really great setup. And put this back. It's oops. Fold up this way. Collapse it. Release. There you go. So once again. This is the uh, Numar Base Star Sport 2813, one of the shortest models uh, that you're going to find. But it's not short on features or quality. Uh, if you don't want to break the bank, uh, if you're more of a weekend camper, this is probably a good option for you. Uh, again, my name is Mark Love. You can contact me uh, directly at 303-684-3429 or email me at mlove at transwest.com. And uh, anybody that's got questions on this coach or any of our coaches, let us know. We can do a, a video walkthrough for you. Uh, not everybody is out and about yet since the COVID is starting to break. So whatever we can do to help, please reach out to us. Thank you once again for tuning in. And like always, happy trails, my friends.